Folks, this video was sparked by a good friend, Dion from Dion Talk Financial Freedom. He talks about why you must retire early. We're going to have this conversation with Anna Kelly. Anna, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I love this topic as someone that retired early. Yeah, Dion does a great job. He's such a wonderful teacher. And, and really the theme of his discussion it was only an eight or nine minute discussion was, hey, you can go ahead and live the 40-40 life, work 40 hours for 40 years to live on 40%. Then what does life really look like? And he went on to share his last year of work with his first year of retirement. And essentially he's tripled his life. And what does he mean by that? He's able to do three X more things that he chooses to do. Mm. And the other thing he is very open with, and again, Dion started from a negative $250,000 in net worth because he had all this credit card debt. So he started in a bad space as a single parent of three kids making 17 bucks an hour. So don't tell me it's not possible. It is. Mm -hmm. He had to work at it for 12 years, but his point of this is it is worth it. You and I have both retired early. You and I have both worked for it. But let's just, I want to highlight like Dion did, what are some things that you and I have done since retirement? And then we can get back to the blocking and tackling. What are some cool things that you've been able to do on us since you've been retired and you're not throwing away 40 hours or 50 hours of your life to a job? Yeah, you know, I think my my favorite thing, I retired, it's in in a month, it'll be five years that I retired from AIG. Wow. Oh at 44. And so, you know, when I walked away and said, I'm retiring, they're like, yeah, right. What are you really doing? You're You'll 44. Be back. I'm like, I'm really retiring. Right. I really, yeah, I, I built, really am. built the freedom. I'm, 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 I'm going to enjoy it. And the first thing that I did right after, you know, I retired May 13th, I think my kids got out of school May 31st and we went on a cross country road trip three and a half week road trip. And it was phenomenal because, you know, in all those years of working way more than 40 hours a week, you know, we did 40 hours a week at the corporate world. And then we built my husband's business and then we started real estate side hustles. So it was 70, 80 hours a week for yeah. a decade. But the first thing it did was allow us to really shut off the phone enjoy our kids and cross country together. And we drove from Pennsylvania to South Dakota we did, you know, all the monuments, we did all the national parks, drove all the way down to Arizona, went to Yellowstone and Sedona and the Grand Canyon. You know, we did Bryce Canyon in Utah, um, the Badlands, just saw so many amazing, beautiful things and then drove, you know, back home. I did speak at a real estate conference in between, but it was like the ability to just explore nature together and get out and really focus a hundred percent on each other. Um, you know, with four kids was something that was so valuable to me. And ever since then, the one commitment that I made, because, you know, we retire, but then we, you know, entrepreneurs never stop working completely because we find other things to buy and other things to do and, you know, hopefully impact projects and things like that. But I said to my kids, like, we will prioritize family time. And during the school year, it's hard to travel because you have kids and they're all in different things. But every spring break, pretty much every Christmas and at least half of the summer, we travel and we just make memories together and we have fun and we don't worry about any other thing. And there's nothing more precious to me than making memories with my kids, doing things I never dreamed I'd be able to afford to do. Um, so it's all about making memories and traveling is, is the number one for us. Yeah, and, and I just love this. Just just like Dion talked about, it took 12 years. You talk about it taking a decade. Olivia and I took 15 years of sacrifice and daily discipline. Again, I again, it is worth it. And maybe we don't do enough of talking about it because again, I worked 60 hours a week. I probably had 20 hours of flying time, which I count as extra time. Then we did a real estate side hustle, raised a family, all of these things. Sac we, we didn't upgrade. I mean, we didn't do anything for 15 years. Right. Right. And, 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 and us too. And and really, I say 10. 10 was from the GFC to the day I retired. So at the GFC, we had 700,000 in, in debt, negative 700,000. Negative 700. Networks, and oh. still created a multi-million dollar you know, portfolio and, and net worth in that 10 years of 80 hours a week. But Michael, it's really the discipline for a longer period of time than that. From the day my husband and I got married 
he had $116,000 in school loans. And so we lived the Dave Ramsey rice and beans, beans and rice for seven years to pay off the school loans. Then we sold everything, moved in with my in-laws, started a practice, house hacked, and then it was another two years before that 10-year period started. So it was really 20 years of us hustling to pay down debt and not live check to check and invest in our future. Um, it it took a really long time. But in hindsight, to your point, I still did it by 44 instead of having to work forever till I was 65 and then live on 4%. You know, the rule is work 40 hours for 40 years and live on 4%. Ugh. Well, they tell you that by the time you're 65, you'll have a million dollars and you can live on 4%. How much is that, Michael? Forty thousand dollars a year. Forty. Can grand. most of you live on forty thousand dollars a year? I spend in forty grand a year on puts food. You into poverty, it it re, it puts you below average, and in in many cases, once you add health care and all those things that go up as you age, it puts our elderly people into poverty. It does not create the wealth that is promised to you by by those advisors. You have to take it yeah. into your own hands and and do what it takes, and it's going to be hard for a decade or more but you can still create that fan financial freedom and it, it's worth yeah. it. Every hardship we ever went through is worth what we have today. Anybody I know that's retired early, we all have the same story with just different words in different times. It's hard. Yeah. It sucks. The first five years are just terrible, right? You got no momentum. You're not seeing the wins yet. You feel yeah. like you're, you, you see your circle of friends just doing these amazing things and you're not. My friends made fun of me. It, it was horrible. I had some really, really dark moments. But one of the things that I was left thinking after watching Dion's eight minute video about why you need to retire early is um, I did a really cool uh, vacation. Like, So we did two cool vacations last year. We spent a month in Asia, which was awesome. But then we did a, a river cruise, which is... Um, I don't think I'll do another one because frankly, I'm too young, <laughs> if, if that makes sense, right? The river <laughs> cruise, I just am, right? So a river cruise is awesome, but it's less than 200 guests. I think it was like 170. Um, the average age had to be 71 or 72, average. There were some really old folks. And the the this river cruise, I think was three weeks long. And when you're on a boat with 170 people, for three weeks, you get to know everybody and everybody's story. And this is what I've taken away from that experience is a lot of folks believe the hype. I'm going to work 40 years. I'm going to save some money. I'm going to do the, and you know what? They got there. They are millionaires. In fact, everybody on that boat was probably multimillionaires. I think there was one like honeymoon couple. So maybe they're not millionaires, but everybody else, I'm positive the median net worth was 10 million bucks or more. It was that kind of event. But what I saw and why I won't go on another river cruise for hopefully decades is it's not enjoyable. They're in wheelchairs or walkers. Yeah, they got the money, but they can't do anything. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, I, I've, I've been walking for an hour. I got to sit down. I'm like, yeah. we're in a city that you'll never be in again. And you've got to go back to the boat already? Are you kidding me? Um, that's why I want people to realize it's freaking worth it. Yeah. And again, the other thing that really bugged me is a lot of these folks that we run in the circle that you and I run in now, they're all about the next milestone. I want to be worth a hundred million or a billion dollars. And let's just pretend they're worth 10 million today. And oh, by the way, they're not only worth 10 million, but they have 20 grand in cash flow or whatever it is. You could be done now. You don't have mm -hmm. to keep running up this mountain and spending time away from your family and doing all of these. I mean, what's enough? Yeah. Folks, oh my goodness. You've got to yes. retire early. You've got to retire early. It's worth the sacrifice. Is worth it. Trust me. I agree, and I think you know two th two things there. You know that you said they're really important. Is and I realized this watching my grandparents. You know, my grandfather was an electrician and he worked unfortunately with asbestos and he retired. And within seven years, I think he died of asbestos, you know, but there's something that gets a lot of people and, and there, I don't remember the exact statistic, but I, I think that a few years back when I had looked at this, it was like the average man retires at 65 to 67 and they die within seven years. So, oh. you know, 72 to 74. And so you, 
you do all of this thinking one day when I can, I will. And then they quit working and then they have health issues that prevent them to, from doing all the things that they help, hoped they could do. And then they, you know, they have a very limited time of their life where they actually enjoyed it. And that really, um, that really hit me, you know, as I was going through, through life and seeing my kids grow up and those years disappearing fast, you know, we, I read a book to your point of, of, of the second piece of that, like, at what point is enough enough? And do you really enjoy life? And you, you don't become a slave to the pursuit of financial freedom. That's something that I've, I, I tell my students, you know, look for financial freedom, but enjoy the process along the way. Don't, do what I did and never take a vacation for five years because we were too busy trying to get me to retire so I could be home. Like the, the goal was good. I wanted to spend more time with my kids, but in the process, we didn't spend any good time, quality time with our kids. Mm -hmm. um, they were with us quantity, but we didn't vacation. And so, yeah. you know, I, I realized that. And so when I retired from AIG, I, I said, okay, I'm going to retire as soon as I have just enough to you know, meet, make our ends meet um, enough cash flow that we can have a vacation every year. We can start putting aside money for the kids' colleges and things like that. Um, and that evolved. But when you're when you're an entrepreneur and you're driven, especially if you start from nothing, there is fear that creeps up into people that they think I'm going to lose it all, so I got to mm -hmm. get more and get more, and then they don't enjoy it. They just create you know, another job for themselves rather than financial freedom and time freedom. They might have financial freedom, but they're a slave to their businesses and their investments and their their drive, quite frankly. And I read a book um, that I recommend to a lot of people called Life and Air, and I read it after I retired. Um, but it's basically about being a millionaire of life, no matter how much money you have. And it's this idea, Michael, that we need to become content with everything we have while we, you know, pace ourselves to grow into all the other things that we still want. And so one example of that might be, you know, you're working 40 hours a week, you've got your side hustle, you've got real estate. Um, instead of going out and trying to keep up with, you know, the Joneses on social media and going and buying the Ferrari or buying the Porsche, keep driving your, you know, your Kia like we did or your Hyundai. And then when you go on a nice trip, rent the Porsche for two days. Enjoy the experience without enslaving your time and your life to having to pay for it forever, right? The boat, we didn't go buy a boat cash till we had over a $10 million net worth. We just mm -hmm. didn't, but we rented boats. We went with friends on their boats. We enjoyed it, but we said, we want to, you know, we want to enjoy things, but I'm not going to splurge on a hundred thousand R boat. We bought a $40,000 boat that was 120,000 a few years before. Right. So mm. there's ways to enjoy your life and be a millionaire at life um, while you work for more, but don't think that there's always tomorrow. Because there isn't always tomorrow. No one's promised tomorrow, you know? And I think yeah. COVID showed us that, you know, I, I had a best friend that died in her forties and my cousin in her fifties and, you know, lots of other family members later that were just retiring and, and never got to enjoy it. And so we're not promised tomorrow. So enjoy today, make good decisions that allow you to, to have enough money to bring in that extra that you can afford that vacation. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, it is a hard challenge because we always think if we just have a little more, we'll be okay. If we just have a little more, we'll be happier. Stuff doesn't satisfy Michael, you know, it's mm -hmm. the experiences. And so if you can buy back your time by creating the financial freedom that really gives you time freedom and then enjoy the time freedom, instead of going to think you've got to do more and get sucked back into the rat race, just your mm -hmm. own businesses, um, you, you'll live a lot happier life in my opinion. Yeah, so a couple of things on that. One, I'm going to go find that Life and Ear book that you recommended. I'll put the link below for folks. You've recommended that a couple of times. I'm going to buy it today, so I'll put the link below. Um, second, uh, I'm actually, I'm a sports guy. I don't, I've, I've shared that with the audience a lot. And I was in Asia uh, when Kobe Bryant passed away. I was in, mm. uh, I think I was in Taiwan, and my wife Olivia reached over to me and woke me up and says Kobe Bryant passed, and he died in a helicopter crash with his daughter and, and seven others, I think it was. Mm. And I remember that hitting me really hard because Kobe oh, yeah. Bryant not only just finished 20 years playing for the Lakers, five championships, but he also, he was 
going for it in other areas. He had just won a freaking Academy Award, right, for his basketball documentary. He was writing children's books. Mm -hmm. To see, just to just, and he was probably, I don't know what he was worth, half a million, half a billion dollars, probably some just stupid number. It could be taken away just like that. Folks, you've got to figure out what enough is. I go back to the opening. You have to retire early. It takes work. It takes sacrifice. It takes dirty work. It takes being made fun of. Who freaking cares? Who's living your life? You. It's just there for you. So again, the other thing that I will say is let's just assume you retire 20 years early. As Anna kind of hinted earlier, you're not just going to eat bonbons, play golf, and travel all the time. I guarantee you, if you retire like Anna at 44, myself at 45, you're likely going to have an energy level that you can't squash. I had to find something else to consume time. And for me, my mission is to create something that lives 50 years after I'm dead. That's been my North Star since day one. It's why I create five videos a day, 365 days a year for five plus years. Yes, I've done 13,000 videos, not because I want the money. I know YouTube algorithm punishes me because I create too, too much content. Don't care. I'm not doing this for the AdSense. I'm mm -hmm. doing this to show people that daily discipline works. I do this to bring other millionaires into the family to show how other stories works. So what I'm trying to tell you is do the work, sacrifice, have a plan. It's going to suck for the five years, but it's worth it. And then life gets good. If you can retire 10, 20 years early, not only can you spend a year or a month in Asia, three weeks in, in Europe, you can take a three-week cross country, but you can find that other passion, give back and impact generations. Anna, you and I mm -hmm. talk weekly for five plus years. We are mm -hmm. undoubtedly impacting generations. And that is worth so much more than any dollar amount, at least to me. So mm -hmm. folks, it's Absolutely. worth it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, you know, I, I, we share the same heart. That's why we've been doing this together for five years, right? We both were retired and, you know, I did, I kept doing deals. I did syndications. I have a coaching company, have multiple different things. But for me, my, my kind of word of the year has been impact, you know, for a couple of years, it's like, okay, now that I've, we're very, very blessed and we worked hard for everything we have. And so I'm not, you know, gonna say that we're, we're not, we're, we're very, very blessed, but um, with that comes responsibility. We're blessed so that we can be a blessing to other people. That's how I view things. And when we die, we can't take our stuff with us. We we just can't, you know? And so, you know, what are we going to do with, with our wealth and, and with the knowledge and wisdom that we've gained to really impact and help other people and change their lives? And that's all that really lasts, you know, on this, this side of heaven is, is, what is the impact we're making? And if we are a slave to our job because we live check to check and we've made some bad decisions and, you know, we're still paying for it, we just don't have the time to be able to invest in those kind of projects. And so part of why you need to retire early, it isn't just so that you can accumulate more stuff and, and enjoy your life. It's so that you can say, what is my purpose for this next phase in life? And how can I do something meaningful that I'm going to really enjoy that, yes. that money is no longer an obstacle and lack of time is no longer an obstacle. I can do what I'm really passionate about. I can help other people. And there's just no greater feeling on earth, Michael, mm. than to be able to do that. So it's, it's really powerful. And the beauty of all of this and everybody I've ever met that's retired early, they have some passion. You and I, it's real estate, financial education. That's why we click, why we gel. But it could be classic cars, could be motorcycles, it could be it could be whatever. I promise you, if you sacrifice, bust your ass, have a plan, get to this point of retiring early, you can you could do that other thing. It will never feel like work. You will make plenty of money and you will have massive impact because you love what you are doing. Folks, sure. you must retire early. There is a process. There is a plan. We document it every week on this channel. Anna, any kind of closing thoughts and then where can people find you? Yeah, I would just say, you know, invest in yourself and in your future and, you know, buying one rental at a time, what this show is about. It's not just about accumulating stuff. It's about 
buying stuff, buying assets that are truly going to give you money every single month in your pocket so that you can work less and less at your job whenever that time might be. And so that you have more and more and more that you can have fun with, live life with, give back with, um, you know, quit thinking about real estate as I'm buying something that, you know, I have a tenant and it's a building and, and that's why I'm buying it. You're buying yourself freedom really freedom, not just financial freedom, but time freedom. And so why am I passionate about real estate? It's not because I've accumulated all the places on the monopoly board, although I've, I've enjoyed doing that. Um, mm -hmm. It's I want to accumulate them because every time somebody lands on it, it puts cash in my pocket that changes my life and helps me to change other people's lives. So look at real estate as you buy your rentals as buying freedom, you know, not just freedom for you, but freedom in some ways for other people that you can impact and not buying an asset. And I think that, that that shift in your mindset of why you're doing it makes it easier when all your friends going back to your beginning mm -hmm. are making fun of you because you're sacrificing and you've got an asset that's only paying you $200 a month extra. And they're like, oh, I can make that and you know whatever. Um, it, it's not just the small amount. It adds up and it dominoes. And over time, it really creates freedom. And where can people find you? You can find me here on social media, Anna Kelly, REI mom, and for real estate coaching and consulting, AnnaKellyInvesting.com. Thank you so much.